Welcome everyone to the second interview in Micro Society's new series, Youth Now. I'm Chance, your host, and I'm excited to be bringing you fresh interviews with young activists who are working to make the world a better place. Today, I'm honored to introduce you to 15-year-old Lino Marrero. Lino is an inter inventor from Frisco, Texas, who has been creating technology to solve everyday problems since he was ju just 10 years old. One of his inventions is Kinetic Kicks, a shoe that builds up kinetic energy as you run, which is then transferred into battery power that can charge your devices. His inventions integrate technology that he hopes will help fight climate change and create uh, cre clean energy. Lino, thank you so much for being here today. Hi. Uh, hey, everyone. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to be here. And All right. So first question. As I mentioned, you are an inventor of kinetic kicks. What led to that? So one day I was on the soccer field and my phone was dead and I wasn't able to call my mom to tell her to come pick me up. So then I thought, well, look how tired I am right now. And how can I use the energy I just wasted on the soccer field and use it to charge my device? Because I was thinking about back in science class when we learned that energy could not be created or destroyed. And so that's when I really had the aha moment of trying to transfer energy from movement into a device. That's really creative. But what problems did you come across? So I definitely had a lot of problems. I mean, it's pretty hard for a sixth grader to try and create energy and charge a device out of nothing. But I mean, my main problem was just trying to be created. I spent like hours and hours trying to just get a little LED bulb to light up just so I could knew I could create energy. But once I did, I mean, that was the big milestone I had to overcome because once I did that, uh, I started getting better and better and better at it and kept learning and learning and eventually I got to what I have today. So how can your shoes affect everyday lives? Well, of course, definitely help you charge your phone if your phone dies or charge your device and charge energy for free or create energy for free. But I mean, also it, in third world countries, there's not a lot of access to electricity there. And there's tons and tons of people who don't have electricity access to even just energy for one light in their house. So it can maybe even help with that. Or if everyone used it, maybe, or we may impl implemented it at a larger scale, maybe we could all use it together to create energy for our So I asked you about problems earlier, but how did your parents feel when you first told them about your idea? Well, at first my parents were like, how are you? But they were really supportive and they helped me out along the way. And I mean, they tried to help me as much as they could, but none of them really know much about uh, mechanical engineering and stuff like that. But they definitely helped out and they're really supportive and I'm really grateful for it. So your shoes must have been like six, very successful because you were entered into the Invention Convention Globals competition. How did that happen? Well, I've been doing Invention Convention since I was in fourth grade. And it started with my first invention, the string ring, which is an adjustable band that you can wear as a cool ring that protects your fingers when you're playing your string instrument so they don't get hurt. And I mean, after I did that first invention and made it to nationals, I just kept inventing and kept inventing and kept going to the program year and year and year and year, every year again and again. And so really, I mean, that it all just built up to that, I guess. And the Kinetic Kicks is definitely the best one I've made so far. You were also nominated for the Time Kid of the Year Award. Was that like, how did that happen? Was it because of your uh, Invention Convention Globals? I mean, it was really surreal. Uh, the time, I didn't even know what I was being interviewed for, but I didn't even know that it was Kid of the Year. It was all really a surprise to me, but it was really amazing. I guess it had to do with as well but it also had to do with all the other inventions I've had and all the other things I've done but yeah it was definitely a surreal experience and it was amazing what was your reaction to being a nominee I mean I was absolutely like astounded because I didn't even I was so surprised and I was so happy I was so like how did this happen I I mean it's kind of hard to understand but it, it was amazing really 
So did you get any opportunities from being a nominee? Well, um, I've gotten, what's it called, more, um, a bigger platform, I guess, to share my invention and to share what I care about. And I mean, that's very helpful as well. And I think definitely that it's helped a lot with uh, lots of things, but really I've been given a bigger platform and I really appreciate that. So you got a bigger platform. Did you gain any contacts in the STEM industry? Um, well, I did have some contacts reach out to me after, of course, after there, and they're like, and they asked if they wanted to help, help me work on my invention. And I'm definitely grateful for that. And I, I already had a couple of contacts too from Invention Convention that really out uh, throughout the invention making process. But yeah, I mean, I've just been given a whole lot more opportunities from this and I'm really grateful. So when you, when this first started, did you expect it to be this successful? Well, I was just had an idea. I was in sixth grade. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just trying to make something happen and I actually did. And that was the most crazy part of it all. But yeah. So I know you uh, mentioned that ring earlier, but so what inventions have you made besides the uh, kicks? So I've had the string ring, like I said earlier, it's an adjustable band that you can wear as a cool ring that protects your fingers when you're playing your string instrument. Then I have the Soul Solution, which is my second invention. And I made that when I was in fifth grade. And the Soul Solution is a shoe with, uh, with an attachable and detachable sole. So when you're playing different sports, you can put on a different sole, but still use the same shoe. And it's really helps out with the environment a lot because shoe waste is absolutely crazy. And it help, it's way more cost effective too, because instead of buying new shoes, new shoes, new shoes, you just have one shoe and you can just switch the soles. And then after that, I had my first very, the Kinetic Kicks, and then the Kinetic Kicks 2.0, which is what I went to Globals with. Do you have any advice? Because I know you said you were, uh, like your parents were sort of on board. Do you have any advice for parents and teachers about how they can create environments for their children to become their best selves? I think definitely be encouraging and supportive of students and their ideas. And I definitely think that just being there for students and maybe in offering help if they want and just letting them do because a lot of parents and teachers don't understand how smart their kids actually are because and it kids are great they're creative they're imaginative and that's something that a lot of adults don't have and that you have while you're young so you definitely need to take advantage of it and I definitely think implementing inventing into classrooms would help a lot with just create preparing kids for the future. So do you think if like parents listened to like their kids and their students, do you think there could be a lot more like cool inventions and like things help helping and people helping the world? I definitely think so because it's really important to make sure the next generation tries to help our world as much as they can. And so, and especially our generation too. So I think definitely getting kids started with inventing from a young age could have them help them have a growth mindset all throughout their lives always think looking at something and instead of saying all oh, that sucks saying all oh, that sucks how can I change it how can I improve it and that's really the inventing mindset and I think we definitely need as much of that as we can get so do you have any for our micro society uh student audience do you have any final thoughts or anything you'd like to share with us just keep inventing, keep creating, keep looking for problems and solving them. And just don't go through life and just accept as they are. Always try your best to solve problems and be the best person you can. Uh, well, you know, thank you for sharing your story with us and showing our audience that if you believe in an idea, you should keep pushing to make it happen. Thanks to all of you for joining us today. If you have a youth activist in your micro society school, who would like to appear on our show, please send your nominations to us at bettertogether at microsociety.org. Thank you again, and we'll see you next time.